to my channel and welcome to my pack with me slash travel packing organization video. I feel like I've been quite organized with my packing for this trip so I really wanted to share it with you. Um, I'm currently in Bali and it is so hot but so beautiful here and I feel like it's such a nice way to kind of end my summer because when I go back to Melbourne it's going to start getting cold and it's going to be autumny and it's going to be so awesome. I'm so excited for the autumn fashion but this is kind of like my nice little send off for the rest of summer before it gets cold. So um, I'm having an amazing time here. Behind me I have all of my clothes. As you can tell I am that person that goes ahead and hangs everything up while on holidays and makes it look pretty and everything's also colour coordinated. I went a little overboard with the organisation this time but that's what my channel's about so we're going to go with it and let's go ahead and get into all of the travel packing organisation tips and things that I can kind of inspire you to help you know what to pack for your next trip. So let's get started. Mm. So starting with toiletries, I went to Muji recently and got a whole new range of travel toiletries accessories. So I have a carry bag, these two bottles for shampoo and conditioner, the smaller one for face wash, the round one for body wash. I have this smaller clear container for my face cream and then I have an even smaller clear container for my eye cream. I also have a little case that um, is going to be great for eyelashes. Then I also have a fold up uh, hairbrush and then also a compact mirror. Then I went ahead and just filled up all of the containers with each one of my products and then went ahead and popped everything into the travel case. I included my makeup removal wipes, toothbrush, deodorant and toothpaste and this is the most compact little travel case I've had so far. Then it is on to makeup. I have always carried my makeup brushes in Ziploc bags. I just find it the easiest and least messiest way to carry makeup brushes. So that's what I've done forever and it's what I will continue to do. The rest of my makeup goes into my little pink and gray Ted Baker travel bag. And all of the makeup that I take with me when I travel is extremely minimal. So I have one foundation, one concealer, one powder, a slightly different concealer, a bronzer, a blush, a highlight, a brow pencil, an eyeliner, a lip product, a lash glue and a mascara and I will have all of these products listed in the description as well. So for my wardrobe and all of my clothes it's very color coordinated and the place we're staying has these beautiful racks with all of these really cute coat hangers and of course I just had to go and hang everything up and make it look really cute and pretty and just make it look so organized. So the colors I have gone for are blue, denim, a little bit of black, some white and then a bit of khaki green. I don't really know why I chose all these colors. I was picking out a few items that are new and then I went with these four colors and then I just didn't really want to bring anything else so that's kind of how this happened and I'm actually really happy with all of the the pieces that I've brought because they all work really well together so I have one set of pajamas these are from bras and things and it's a nice little black satin set super cute I have my frilly blue play suit I have a denim skirt that will go with so much I will try and link as much of this in the description I also have this uh, blue spotty dress from Dottie. It's super flowy and really comfy. I also have a plain black singlet. I have another black cami that's got a little bit of lace and is kind of a bit nicer than just the plain one. I also have my all-time favorite dress. This is from Kukai. It's like a black tight rib dress that also has a tie around the middle. Amazing. I also have this really cute little black skirt from Steli Clothing. It's really flowy and comfortable. And I also have this little play suit from Shopo. It's kind of like spotty and frilly, really cute as well. I have this little off the shoulder cropped top from Steli Clothing. I did a little bit of a haul of, from Steli Clothing. I also have this white cami from Glassons. And then these white pants, which are from... Uh, seed but I've had these for years they're some of my favorite pants super comfortable but they're quite old so I won't be able to link those below also if you would like to see all of these clothes on me and styled up then make sure you head over to my Instagram because I will be posting photos all of this week I also have this little khaki green button crop top from Steli. I have a khaki green um, skirt from Steli as well. It's got buttons up the front, an uneven hemline, and a little tie around the waist. It's really cute and super comfy and flowy as well. And then I also have a pair of khaki pants from Steli Clothing. These are brand new, still got the tag on them, and I'm really excited to try them. And then the last top that I have is 
from Chic from ages ago, so I won't be able to link it, but it's reversible. You can wear it either way, so have a high neck at the front or a high bit at the back, whichever you choose. For accessories, I am packing two hats. I have this big white wide brimmed hat from Kmart, and then I also have this really cute little boater hat from Miss Shop. It did have like a checkered pattern, but I did cut that fabric off, so it was just black. And the best way to pack hats is to put them in the suitcase first, but fill the inside of them with some clothes. So I've put underwear in one, swimsuits in the other, and then I put them at the bottom of the suitcase and then just pack all of the rest of my clothes around it. And I found that that will keep them in shape and won't squish them. And just seems to be the easiest and best way to pack all of the like accessory hat accessories or head accessories and then yeah I just went ahead and packed the rest of my suitcase so for swimsuits I've decided to take four swimsuits I have a cute little tie up white set I also have this kind of like tropical green print one that has like little um, braided uh, straps which I think is really really cute I also have one full piece which is this black one here and I love this one piece and then I also have my favorite little uh, tie up string bikini which is kind of like a navy blue and red and white stripe which I love as well all of these swimsuits are from Zaffle and they're actually not bad considering it's such a cheap website and I will have all of them listed in the description. So for shoes, I'm only taking four pairs of shoes. I have one pair of kind of more casual heels. These heels are years old and I love them. So I wish I could link them for you, but I can't. They go with everything. So comfortable. I also have one pair of sneakers for any time that I need to do any kind of like trekking slash I wear these when I go on the plane. I also have a pair of thongs because they're the most simple thing to wear and are like a holiday, like a tropical holiday essential. And then I have one set of strappy um, flats that are kind of a bit more nicer to wear than just thongs, a little bit more stylish. And these ones are from Novo. Again, I'll try and link everything down below, but I know that my sneakers and my heels are so old. And the last tip that I have for you is Ziploc bags. It is the easiest way to pack all of your belongings when traveling. I put everything into Ziploc bags. You could put all of your toiletries. I do all of my electronics, some of my shoes and some accessories into Ziploc bags. They're just easiest way to kind of separate everything and make sure everything's really neat. So that is my travel packing organization video. I really hope you've enjoyed it and found some inspiration and have an idea of what you should pack on your next holiday. I hope you've enjoyed it. Up the top here, you can check out my last video. Down the bottom, I will leave a link to another one of my organization videos and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.